Hi and welcome to the conclusion of Minecraft Story Mode Episode 5. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. On your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. A hey, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? No. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. I will see you on the other side. Taking over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Can't stop what you can't see. Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't... Aiden, you've lost! I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the Founder with you? I heard- ah! What the- Reginald! Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! Just you and me, Aiden. Just you and me now. Just- Die already! Should have left while you had the chance!
can't stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win! Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, look around you, it's over, give up! No! You don't get to tell me that! You're coming with us. Th th thank you. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> More than you deserve, frankly. you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. What do you do? You go have fun. 
You guys were cooped up there so long, now you can go do whatever you want. Oh, Freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere! I knew you'd stop him. Nice work. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. Ooh, I bet the blaze rods are in for a bad time. These Sky City people are not happy with them. Yeah, hopefully they dig a deep hole, bury them in it, surround it with lava, and... Sorry, got a little carried away there. Aiden. Oh, uh, hi, Jesse. I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to cause all that trouble. I can see where it all went wrong. I've, uh, got some regrets, to say the least. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Aiden. It didn't have to be that way. I was just so jealous, bitter. And you had all this cool stuff going on, and, and I just wanted a piece. I wanted my time to shine, too. I'd say you have a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Try and make a fresh start, okay, Aiden? Do something good for these guys. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Make myself a little house. Maybe I'll become a writer. I won't try to compete with you anymore. Attention! Huh? Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow. Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Hey, both of you, fighting isn't going to solve anything. It will if I win. Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves. Be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but... She's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. It's been a while since I've had to start from square one. Oh, that's right. In the middle of all the fighting and everything, I almost forgot. When I was on the ground with the Founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Cause I could have sworn I said something. No, you didn't. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? The sides continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Are you gonna set her free? I tried to, actually, but she kept coming back. We've spent so long together, I suppose we sort of need each other now. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, oh, that's a boy's name! Huh, <laughs> what a closed-minded attitude. 
Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? No, I just saw those pigs and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here when we've been. They'll never believe me. It. That's not what I was expecting. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in episode 6. Until then, take care.